I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question from our friend on a very popular website, Quora. So my response to this is that to write a unit vector at an angle of 45 degrees to the given vector, we could actually adopt three methods. Well, there could be more, but I know about three. So method number one could be we find an angle of this vector with find angle of current vector add 45 degrees and then find new vector of magnitude equals to 1. So that probably will be the simplest method to adopt. We could also use a method of uh, transformations. We could use uh, the matrix transformations. And uh, lastly, we could use the most popular method, which is using dot product. So any of these three methods can help us uh, find solution to the given question. Now, <clears throat> let's try to understand. Uh, the simplest of all is, of course, this one. So we are given a vector. So let me just sketch and make a better, uh, let's see how it looks like. So the situation is kind of like this. We have two, three. That means a vector is kind of like this here, right? where this point here is is 2, 3. Let's find the angle theta. So the angle theta will be, we know tan theta is 3 over 2. So theta is going to be tan inverse of 3 over 2. So let's use calculator to find this answer. So we get tan inverse of uh, 3 divided by 2 is equal to 56.301. So we get theta equals to 56.3. I can round it to 1 degrees. Is it okay? So now what really we want to do is we want to rotate this by an angle of 45 degrees. So if you do that, you get a vector in this direction, right? What we want is magnitude to be just one unit, right? So let's say this is our one unit magnitude. That's what we want. So, so basically now what we have here is the new angle phi, which is theta plus 45 degrees, will be how much? So the phi will be 56.31 plus 45 degrees, right? So that can be written as, let's say 31 and 5 and 1, 101.5. So that is the total angle. Now we want a vector with a unit magnitude. That means magnitude R is 1. So the vector will be, let's call this vector as a vector U, right? So vector U will be R times cos of phi, that's the I value, plus sine of phi, that's the j value. r is 1 for us. So we can write the vector u as equal to, since we know r equals to 1, right? Phi is known. So we get cos of 100, what did I write? 101. 101, okay. 101.31 i plus um, sine of 101.31 g. So let's calculate these answers, right? So we get cos of 101.31, which is as expected a negative value, 0 0.196 i, right? Plus sine of 101.31 which is equal to 0 0.98, let me write 0, 06J, okay. 
So that becomes your unit vector and that is the correct answer, I suppose. The magnitude will be 1 for this since we have taken r as 1. Cos square theta plus sine square theta is always 1, right? So that ensures. So we got one answer. Now let's see the matrix method, which is very interesting. So in matrix, we could actually do a transformation uh, using this cos theta minus sine theta. That is a rotational matrix. Sine theta cos theta, correct. For any point x, y to get the transformed point x, t and y, t. Is it okay? Now, we have uh, the rotation. This is the angle. This is not that theta. Okay. So, in our case, we have this angle theta as 45 degrees rotation, right? And uh, since we are interested in unit vector, so let's find the unit vector z itself. So, we have uh, 2i plus 3j will actually divide it by its magnitude, which is square root of 2 square plus 3 square. So that gives you, uh, this is 4 plus 9, 13. So it is 2 over square root of 13. I plus 3 over square root of 13 G. Okay. So that becomes your X and Y values. If you use a unit vector and transform, we'll get a unit vector. That's the whole idea, right? So, and we also know that cos of uh, theta is, um, we are looking for 45 degrees, okay, so is equals to sine of 45 degrees, and both are equals to 1 over square root 2, okay. So we can take 1 over square root 2 common, and then apply. So what we have here is basically, we can take 1 over square root 2 common, in that case we get 1 minus 1, 1, 1, right, simpler values. And uh, here we have 2i, we'll divide by square root 3, okay. So, we can actually take 1 over square root 13 also common. Okay, that's very good. And we'll multiply these two. Okay, 2 squares 4 and 9, 13. That's correct. Now, the values will take 2 and 3. So, just for simpler calculations, I did all this. So, this means I have square root of 26 here. Okay, and we'll add these terms. So, it becomes 2 minus plus 3, right? So the value is uh, uh, 1 over square root of 26 and we have the value as minus 1 and 5. So that becomes your vector. So you can write your vector u as also equal to uh, minus 1 over square root 26 i plus 5 over square root 26 j. Okay, so what we can do is we can just check these values, right? Do they match or not? So we have 1 divided by square root of 26 equals to decimal value is exactly same. Do you see that? 0 0.1961, right? Same value. So, so you get the same result. Perfect. So this is uh, another very great way of doing it. Okay, so ran out of space for the dot product. Anyway, let me explain you the dot product here, which is much simpler. So, so we have the dot product. So let's say the vector is, uh, so we'll say the vector, let's say u is equals to a plus bi, right? So ai plus bj, we call it, okay. So that's our vector. So basically we have the dot product between these two. So first equation is uh, a square plus b square is equal to 1. This is one equation you need to keep in mind. The second one will be the dot product between these and these that which is a b dot 2 3 divided by the magnitude of this is 1 and the magnitude of this is which is found 2 square plus 3 square root 13 right. Okay. And what we are given here is cos of the angle between them is given to us as 45 degrees, which is 1 over square root 2. Correct? So, so from here, you get equation which is 2a plus 3b 
equals to uh, square root 13 over square root 2. So this will be our equation 2. Solving these two equations, you can get the value of A, right? And B, right? So that could be your third method, which you could actually explore and get to the result. So I hope you find this uh, interesting and good enough. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.